morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's November 12th, Monday morning, and uh, grain markets are mixed with uh, mostly lower in uh, soybeans and, and wheat, uh, sharply lower, I should say, in soybeans and wheat. Some of the bearish uh, attitude and uh, numbers that we've seen from the USDA on Friday is carrying over to the pressure that we're seeing here uh, today in the uh, soybean complex. The uh, Dalian exchange, for instance, in China was uh, down sharply. Soybean oil was down the limit. Uh, meal was down uh, sharply, up as much as $18 in, uh, uh, in China here overnight. So that's continuing to put some pressure on the, uh, the soybean complex. We took out some key chart levels, uh, the 200-day moving average, and then you draw horizontal support on the, uh, the charts, and we've uh, taken out a lot of those uh, levels as well here overnight with the uh, the sharp lower trade that we're seeing currently in the uh, the soybean complex. Corn is finding some strength from a couple reasons. One is the the bulls in the corn market are touting the the narrowing of the spread between world prices of corn and U.S. prices of corn. Uh, South American corn is uh, getting much closer to U.S., which is uh, in uh, expecting that we could uh, see some increase in uh, uh, export business, or actually we could just see some export business in corn. Uh, over the weekend, uh, uh, Brazil snuck in a, a shipment of corn to South Korea that uh, the U.S. traders were hoping would come to the U.S., but uh, did not. So that uh, is, uh, is what's kind of supporting corn here this morning. Also, uh, we had large open interest increase on Friday on the, the setback in the corn market, over 10,000 contracts increased there. Technically, we've got uh, good support on corn at, in the DEES contract at 732. We've seen that level hold for uh, several times now, so you got to believe there's going to be building of sell stops and sell orders under that level uh, if it ever is, uh, is broken. So watch that and, and play that accordingly. Uh, basis at the Gulf continues to strengthen. Uh, SIF basis is is higher, uh, and mainly because of the uh, the inability to move grain down the Mississippi. The huge concern yet about uh, the the uh, Mississippi River between St. Louis and Cairo. Uh, there's talk that that river may be closed completely here if uh, water supplies and water levels don't increase. Uh, and in the next uh, couple of weeks, so that's a, a big concern for uh, uh, for uh, SIF traders and, and shipment of any kind of grain out of uh, New Orleans here. If if we uh, finally made a sale there, managed money uh, released uh, on Friday showed that uh, funds continuing to reduce long positions in grains. Uh, corn uh, was only down slightly, wheat was down slightly, but soybeans down 10,000 contracts, soybean oil down, and actually was an increase to short positions already of about 13,000 contracts in, uh, in soybean oil, and that was as of last Tuesday in the uh, CFTC's Commitment of Traders report. Uh, outside markets not giving us a lot of direction here this morning. We've got crude down slightly, dollar basically unchanged. Uh, EU finance ministers are expected to meet again uh, this week as in Brussels and, and to discuss the uh, Greek austerity uh, measures that were passed. So uh, definitely not out of the woods with that uh, economy. China's economy continues to slow. So uh, in U.S. has got the physical cliff that, uh, that we've got to deal with here as we, we move forward. However, in, uh, in grains, we're going to be supported probably by uh, cash markets as farmers uh, have closed the bin doors, harvest is done early, and don't expect much uh, grain to move here, especially at lower prices away from uh, farmers' hands, at least until uh, we get into that uh, latter part of December. So uh, watch that closely. Stay in touch with Allendale's research there. Weather in South America continues to uh, improve. Uh, become more ideal. Uh, one of the uh, uh, analyst agencies out of uh, Brazil is saying that they've got 54% of the beans planted. Uh, that's above the five-year average. So uh, uh, with the rain that's uh, coming in this next week, uh, much better conditions down there. Wouldn't call it ideal, but certainly uh, an improving situation in South America. In the livestock trade, uh, 
The uh, choice beef was down 137, select down 239 on Friday, pork down 33. A uh, major struggle there is still the demand from the East Coast. And then uh, throughout the Midwest, w- the uh, beef has got to fight with uh, turkeys for the retail space for the next uh, 10 days to two weeks. And that uh, is uh, definitely uh, giving packers a, a bit of a problem to uh, to get this beef moved and uh, a reason for them to slow down slaughter, which they have. So uh, expect some excitement here once we can get through the, uh, the holiday, but uh, uh, might get a little weaker as we, uh, we get closer to this uh, Thanksgiving holiday and the, the featuring of uh, turkeys at the retail counter. So stay in touch with Allendale's research. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very uh, successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.